Miss Simmons, thank you for agreeing to meet me here. Do you mind if we talk privately? What do we need to speak privately about? During lunch today, I overheard your talking to your co-workers about the UFO mystery. Is there a problem, Mr. Foxworth? Only that you are misinformed. You stated that the public has the right to know the truth about the UFOs we see. They do. They don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. May I speak freely, sir? Of course. That is ignorant poppycock. Please do not take offense. Assuming for the sake of argument that your fantasy has the tiniest grain of truth to it, the simple fact of the matter is that the people cannot handle the truth. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Can. Can't. Perhaps you have never heard of the blind unreasoning panic caused by the Orson Welles, War of the Worlds, broadcast. Perhaps you are not aware that happened over 70 years ago. I suppose you have gotten your free-spirited ideas from that book I've seen you reading during your coffee breaks. Is it a crime to read a book in this office now? Of course not. What was the title of the book again? It's called After Disclosure. The People's Guide to Life After Contact. Clever title that is. I do love science fiction. It is not sci-fi. It's about what is going to happen when the powers that be finally admit that UFOs are real. No, no, no. We, I mean, they, they must never do that. It's not like they're going to have a choice if they wait much longer. It's easy for people like Richard Dolan and Bryce Zabel to put these crazy ideas in your head, but it is hardly responsible. I thought you had never heard of the book. Now you know the names of the people who wrote it. Do I? You do. Lucky guess, I'm sure. For a person who does not believe in UFOs, you do seem to know a lot about the subject. What I believe or do not believe is not the issue. I think I'm getting a headache. Let us say that, hypothetically, these objects were real. People are enjoying their lives. Why scare them? What scares me is having to live in a world where the truth doesn't matter. Oh, it matters. Will there be anything else? No. Well, only that if I were ever to be abducted by anyone, I would like it to be you taking me away rather than some tiny grey humanoid with four fingers and big eyes from Zectoratic Uli. That is both an absurd statement and, I believe, sexual harassment. I am very, very sorry. Why Zectoratic Uli? No reason.